Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be discussing why this is what makes BookBolt Keyword Finder the best low content keyword finder online today. Okay, but before we go ahead and do it, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. So let's go check it out now. Hey guys, here we are in BookBall. Now, what we're going to need to do if to look for the keyword finder is we just go to here to the left hand side where it says research and then we go down here and we scroll down and then we can come across this one here. Now when we click on that, it'll give us two options. It'll give us both the search op option as well as the favorite option. Now we'll start off with the search option. Click on that. And what we can do is obviously I've had something else in here, but let's go have a look for a keyword. Let's go for, say for example, journal. And we can hit search. And this will take a, a few seconds. And once it does, it'll come up with a whole bunch of different keywords that you can go looking for. Now, as you can see, you've got your here, you've got your affirmation. You can heart it, which means you can put it into your favorites. Uh, you've also got the Amazon uh, search volume as well as the Google search volume, cost per click and competition. Now, what you're really wanting to look for here is a high level, a high number here and a low competition here. So what you can do, oh and over here, before we go any further, you also have other keywords, the most frequently, the most frequent keywords that are used as well. Now these are really, really good to be able to put into your Amazon KDP. So if you want to be able to make money online, this is the best way to do it. You need to be able to put good keywords into the keyword section of Amazon KDP, so as you can be ranked as well as in your titles as well. So what you can do is you can go down here, have a look at the competition, and what you're looking for are the green ones that have low competition. So far, everything here is high. Oh, here we go, here's one that's low. You've got medical journal. Now, you might want to decide to create a medical journal, a low content medical journal, and you can put something there and we let's heart that. Let's fa let's put that in favorites. And we can scroll down. We can have a look down here. And we can continue. You can have a look at the mediums as well and see what there's. Sales journal. Okay, we can have a look at that. Sleep journal. Oh yeah, there's a medium competition. So it's not a very overly high, but you know you got medium amount of competition. But what you're really looking for are the low competition. Okay, so let's go over to the next page and see if there's any low competition here. As you can see, journals has an awful lot. And, okay, here's one that says low competition. Elephant journal. Okay, we'll have a look at that. Scroll down. There are some that sometimes they say no data, but that's because that means that there just isn't enough data to be able to give us the information it needs. So it can't tell us whether it's got high or low, low search volume. Here we go. Yellow journal. Click on that. You go over here. You go through and you can have a look at other ones. Now let's say for example you decide that you want to have a look at um, men's journal. All right, let's have a look here. Men's journal. Just wait a few seconds, let it do its thing. It's got to calculate. Okay, so you got here high search volume and no data. Okay, so there's not a lot there. But we can have a look here and say, for example, notebooks. Okay, let's have a look at notebooks. You go search. For search, you see journals and notebooks can be very similar. So you can scroll through here, have a look down here, and see what is low content and see how it goes. Here we go. Movie notebook. I think that is actually a movie called The Notebook. Don't quote me on that. But, you know, you probably best not use that one because I think it is to do an actual movie. Here we go. The Notebook. You can put that in as a keyword. It's got a 6,569 search volume. 
that is the actual keywords and you can pop that in you can add that to your keywords no problem at all or even in the description section and then you can go to the next page and have a look over here as well so as you scroll through you can just keep having a look at the heart over here and see what is good and what is bad and you can have a look down here and you can scroll through and look for low search volume now let's go back a little bit we'll go back to the top and over here we'll have a look at some of these other ones you've got yellow notebook vintage notebook notebook for women packs of notebook initial notebook uh, corgi notebook let's have a look at dinosaur notebook let's copy on that pop that up here go control v and we can hit search we just wait a minute or two a few seconds i should say and here it comes so not a lot but okay so it's high search volume so you can go through and you can actually go and have a look at what else is here now let's also have a look at deleting that let's go choose another search term we can say for example go i'm going to just click on there and say journals with an s on the end see what happens see what comes up with you might think there's not going to be much difference but sometimes there can be so we can go here all right so you got freedom journal click on that there's a heart that one go down journalism no all right now i'm going to put up here 365 men's bible reading journal or something yeah i'm going to put 365 365 day um men's bible reading journal and then we can hit search and see what it comes up with. There we go. All right, so you've got that one. Okay, so you've got 365 days. That's low search volume. High, it's high search volume, but low competition. And then you got um, 365, 2020. 365 days 2020. You might want to turn that to 2021 now. We're in 2021. But we can click on that. Um, and scroll through. Have a quick look. Bible reading app. Yeah, no, you probably don't have that. You can scroll through until you actually find what you're looking for. And then you can just look for the more, more of the low data as you continue going through. Book of Joy Journal, a 365-day companion. Yep, that's good. And then you can go to the next page and have a look at what's over there. In just a minute. It'll think about what it's doing and go across there for us. Okay, so we've got that one again. Uh, 365 days, the movie. Nope. Bible reading. Oh, that's a good one. Bible reading for the day. Yep. That's another good one. Yep. Okay. Well, I think that's probably about all we need right now. So let's go back over here to the keyword finder. And let's go open this part of the favorites in a new tab. So we'll just open that up in the new tab. And in just a minute, you can actually see all the ones that I've just clicked. And you can go through them all and you can choose them and you can decide what you're going to do. So we can go over here and let's go here for say for example you wanted to say you're a salesman and you want to create a sales journal let's click on that and you can click and you can have that one and you can do one specifically for sales journal and see what it comes up with there there so you got over here sales journal 2020 sales journal notebook sales journal sales journal planner and over here you can go through what they have there for the medium one you got your sales channel as well so that is the keyword finder now one of the things i really really love about this is the fact that you've got the most frequent keywords right here so you've got bible journaling bible journals these are all things you can put into the keywords in amazon kdp
and you can have a look through and you can choose the type of ones you want to put in and what you want to rank for. Let's have a look at another section of this. We can now have a look at the category finder. Now here we can just type in a word, say for example, so let's type in here Bible reading, type in enter, and you can choose the section in which you want to do it. Now I can go here, non-fiction Bible general, you've got non-fiction Bible multiple translations to versional, and you have all these different sections in which you can put that down into. Let's say for example you want to put in journals type of journal you want to do, say for example, you go here, literary collection, diary and journals, juvenile notification language and journals and journal writing, all these different things you can choose. Now let's go journal for men, okay that'll do, that will do, go search, and you can go through and you can have a look at the various ones you want to do. Okay now let's have a look at the product section just here, this is really cool, I really love this part here. This is really awesome. Now you can go over here and have a look at one. You can choose one that could be a notebook, it can be a journal, it can be music, it can be a calendar. Let's have a look at calendars for a second. And let's call this one notebook calendar. All right, let's have a look and see what it comes up with. Click on that. Now this might take a moment or two, so I'm gonna pause the video while this is doing its thinking. Right, now that we're back. Now what we've got here, we have keywords, notebook, total, results that is 32 and as you can see this is actually changing on a fairly regular basis the average bestseller range or ranking I should say that will go up in just a moment and the lowest price at the moment is $5.99 highest price is $8.99 the average price is $7.46 now it's obviously changing up and down as it's still thinking and these are the very ba these are the basic bestsellers rank ranking now what we can do is we can go down here now one thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be blanking out this first book because um, I don't want to be, if this, when I get, when I start getting monetized, I don't want this video being demonetized. So I want to make sure that I blank this part out so it's not seen. That one's got a bit of swearing involved and I don't want to be uh, demonetized because anyone who swears in their videos tend to be demonetized. So we're going to have a look here. We've got one minute gratitude journal and we can over here you have a look at the best sellers ranking but then over here you can see all the estimated sales 537 estimated sales and it's been going since the 18th of January 2016 you got a black blank comic book and you have bestseller ranking 2423 now that's really good because you want to be under a hundred thousand if you can if you can manage to get under 100,000, then you're doing really, really well as a KDP book creator. And this is 516 estimated sales, and they've been going since 2017. Then you've got Nurse Coloring Book, and Bestsellers Ranking, and you can have 381 estimated sales. And as you can go through, the more you see, you can get to see the type of sales they make, you can also have a look over here for some more keywords. And this is why BookBolt is one of the best keyword finders online because it's always giving you related keywords. It's always giving you keywords that are relevant for what you need and do. So as you can see, you're going through, you can see all these different ones. Now over here, you've got the search volume. And as you go through, you can see it's got a higher search for Dell Notebook. But as you go here, Five by eight notebook, people are actually searching for that. Um, writing notebook, and these are all really good ones you can have a look for. So, as you can see, composition notebook 63,889. So, a unicorn notebook is another big one, cute notebook is another huge one. So, as you can see, the more you go through, the more you'll actually be able to rank and as you put them into your keyword section of KDP you'll be able to put it in the note either in the heading section you can then add some different ones into the actual keyword section and also you can add keywords to your description you want to be able to add keywords everywhere through your as much as many keywords as you can find to go into the headings as well as the keyword section 
as well as the description. Now be aware, it's best to not put where the keywords are. It's best not to put the actual um, keywords that are going to be in the heading in that section. Keep them separate. So if you're going to have keywords in the heading, don't put the same keywords in the keyword section because all you're doing is wasting space. And then when you go into your description, you can add different keywords there as well. All right, guys, that's all there is for this video. Now, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not share? Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.